So we're live down at the start for the ladies' challenge plate, a race between the crew on this side, which is the East India Club and Genzer Hoy in Sportvereinigen from Belgium and Oxford Brooks University B crew. One of the favourites in this event. Attention! To progress through the regatta. It's in effect Go! Brooks' second crew. And uh, the top crew are also in this event. But we do expect this Brooks crew to be very, very tough to take. They went off the start quickly. I think they took a lead of almost like five or six strokes. Yes, yeah, they say it's their second crew. They're still pretty handy. They're extremely handy, and uh, you know when you've got uh, talent the like of Rufus Till in the strokes, it's his first Henley in an eight rather than the 40 cut, which is uh, quad sculling. But behind him, Jack Pryor, Alex King, Dane Oatman from the USA. They were looking at this multinational crew. So up in the bows, Frederick Tilson from Belgium, Pete Robinson from the UK, Max Blewitz from the German, Paul Dorman from Germany, Paul Peich from Germany, Matthias Hedbo from Denmark. Max Milder from Germany and the stroke Max Ponson, the fantastic Dutch strokeman, cocked by Whitney Powell from the USA. And the, the theory behind this eight is telling me they cocked Whitney Powell is that she really wants to have a multinational eight, one person from every country, and just to come and enjoy their rowing. It's been together for three days this eight. She's only put it together a week before that, and they're doing pretty well up against Brooksby, still in contact as they go through the quarter mile. Very in mind, they just come together. They're running really, really well. They're nicely synchronised. It's an amazing tribute to whoever's put that, that crew well, together. I tell you what, I think Max Ponson in the stroke seat, I saw him win the World Under-23 Championships for the Dutch in 2016. He was in the stroke seat then. He was in the two-seat when the Dutch won in 2017. That was that fantastic crew with uh, Martin Hurtmans and Simon van Dorp. Van Dorp, of course, Simon van Dorp now holds the second quickest time, 536.4 in the year ago. So that was a stacked crew. Yeah. And this guy was in both the crews. So that's the quality you've got in this multinational crew. There he is. There's a shot of Max Ponson, the 22-year-old. Very composed, isn't he? In fact, the whole crew looks very composed. Interested with his outside shoulder. He's kind of, you know, it's kind of got his Inside, elbow pointed out. What yeah. do you reckon to that? I don't know. I, I... It goes against tradition, I guess, because you're meant to sort of tuck your elbow in, aren't you, and make sure you can hang and lever off the blade as long as you possibly can. I, I think he's got such a good front end that that's what he can do. He's not really trying to do too much at the finish, but he's trying to load up all on the front end. He's really well connected on the front end. Look at his legs go down there. And I think that allows him to do what he's doing at the finish. Ideally, purist, you'd have the elbow a little bit closer into your body. Yeah, as if tucking into it, brushing, his elbow's brushing the side of his chest, almost trying to elbow the chap behind you. So the Cox Whitney Powell urging that crew on from East India Club and Ghent. We see from this view how much Brooks have gone ahead of me. He said it's Brooks' second boat, but I live in Wallington often. I walk on the river where the Brooks boathouse is, and you'll see one brilliant eight go past, and then another one. And when you get to about the fifth or sixth one, it's like cracking, they're getting there better and better. There was that fantastic better. shot, wasn't there, on the reservoir? Was it Wimbledon yeah. uh, Reservoir? Or it, it was Wimbledon, yes. Wimbledon, and they had all those Brooks eights. Seven eights side by side. It was sensational. And the fours ahead. Yeah, oh, it brilliant. was sensational. What a university. And uh, was that Dan Oakman, the guy with the beard there in the five seat? The uh, American, the 29-year-old, first began rowing in 2003 at Newport Aquatic Centre. And here he is now in 2019. Native of California, graduated from UCLA. Father of two, which is not probably the normal uh, pattern for Brooks students, I would guess, Jim. Not at all. So th this is one of the two ladies that races today. So there'll be four crews racing the ladies. The six other crews in this have got to buy. And uh, it's going to be whoever wins this will have known they've been in for a race because look here we are uh, to change the lead well we were writing down brooks b to win this race and this multinational crew only been together for three days three days and they are just going through to take the lead stroke by the dutchman max ponson maximilian milder from germany in the seventh seat and the dane matthias hedbo in the sixth seat and the multinational crew there they go through you can see the dane with that blue cut the former cal berkeley rower that uh, University. That was amazing. They came, they came past Apple Thames Running Club. They took their rate from 36 to 38 for about 15 strokes and then dropped it again. I just went through Brooks. They took about a length and a half of them. It's probably 10 strokes. What do you think that is? The rhythm and poise? You've got someone like Ponson in the stroke seat. You've got these Germans who are 
under 23 internationals. They seem to have a longer stretch. They're a bigger, slightly bigger crew. They seem to use their length more to see how Brooks respond. They, they certainly won't just lie down and take that. Well, normally in eight row, you see the eight that goes out the quickest is going to be leading. You say, you know, whoever comes to 500 first, give out the gold medals there because they're going to win. Not on this handy course, though. And I think this crew is a new crew together. They will have done some training, but not haven't been down the track. So they're getting into this race, the crew from East India Club and Ghent, as they go down the course and uh, in a beautiful way. And they have just moved right through Brooks, like, you know, a knife through butter. I mean, what an analogy. Yeah, just... Brooks haven't really responded yet. They're at 35, 36 strokes a minute just coming into the enclosures. They've got a few more gears to go yet, so let's see what happens. Have you seen, already seen on a couple of races this afternoon, crews have come back from this position and won. And beautiful shot in the sunshine there. Just the two man just coming out of the sunshine in that uh, East India Club and Ghent crew. Pete Robinson, the only Brit there, formerly from Molsey Boat Club. Does a lot of coaching down at Serpton High School now. And uh, Pete Robinson having the ride of his life up in the bows of Brooks, East Brooks India Club. starting to respond. They're taking their rate of striking up to 38, 39, actually, as of the last stroke. Yes, yeah, too late though, isn't it? I mean, I they've think really, they've left it too late. I agree. It's almost, you know, we've got the race, we're out in front, and then slipping back, slipping back, slipping back, and then all of a sudden they're like a length down. They just didn't respond to that push that uh, East India Club and Ghent put around up at end. Let's see the reaction of this East India Club and Ghent at the finish, because I guess that's going to be a surprise to them that they've managed to dominate Brooks in the second half of the course as they have. Coming up to the finish line, the crew from East India Club and Ghent, Belgium. The Belgian guy, Frederick Tilson, in the bows of the boat. They take that heat of the ladies' challenge plate ahead of Oxford Brooks. B crew. And uh, pretty cool, calm and collected. There's the Calra. Brilliant, uh, Then Matthias Halbro just tapping Max Milder on the back. Great run.